So today's talk will be about spine surgery and its recent advances, emphasis on minimally invasive spine surgery. So spine surgery has a lot of myth among people saying that most common questions people ask me when they come to me is whenever is spine surgery safe, is spine, after spine surgery will I be able to walk or will my legs be paralyzed permanently. So spine surgery is relatively safe since the time when it started. Spine surgery is absolutely safe. So spine surgery is generally performed to improve the quality of life and get back to normalcy as much as possible. The main advancement of spine surgery was when the, with the introduction of the microscope. With the microscope, the illumination and the magnification and the view and the appreciation of anatomy became extremely well seen. That made spine surgery safer. So with the only disadvantage with the microsurgery was the collateral damage. So there were a lot of surrounding normal tissues which has to be passed to reach the target of interest. So then came the era of minimally invasive and endoscopic spine surgery. The main concept of minimally invasive and endoscopic spine surgery is the reduction of collateral damage. What I mean to say is the damage to the normal tissues is minimized to a very great extent so that the normal tissues are preserved. For example, the minimally invasive spine surgery, the surgeries are performed using a two centimeter, yeah, one and a half centimeter incision. The same surgery done with the open method or with the micro surgery will require an incision almost double the size. The other things which are uh, main advantages of minimally invasive spine surgery are, one, there is, as previously mentioned, there is very minimal tissue damage. Then there is less post-operative pain. Thirdly, time to return to normal activity is drastically reduced. The people can get back to their work the next day or immediately the day evening they can be discharged from the hospital. Then the normal, not only this, there is scientific evidence that minimally invasive spine surgery is superior. What I mean to say is on pre-operative and post-operative MRIs when trials were conducted, the erector spinae muscles or the paraspinal muscles, the atrophy and the degeneration of these muscles are far, far less in minimally invasive spine surgery compared to the open surgery. But all these things should be performed with expertise and with proper training. Above all, the success of the spine surgery depends on the indication for which it is performed, the diagnosis has to be correct and only then the patient will be able to appreciate the results. So the final take home message is, no back pain is trivial to be neglected, all back pain needs to be evaluated properly by a specialist and then when it comes to the area of spine surgery, spine surgery is come far away from where it started, it is relatively safe and it is becomes almost like a daycare surgery where the patient gets admitted this morning and they can be discharged the same day. Depends on the complexity of the surgery. If it is a simple discectomy, it can be done as a daycare surgery and it can be discharged on the same day. The minimally invasive spine surgery is on par with the traditional microsurgery. The efficacy and efficiency of the procedure is never compromised just for the doing a fancy procedure like a minimally invasive or endoscopic spine surgery. And the scar or the cosmesis is the least of the concern. The main priority should be to deliver the result and give patient symptom relief to get back to their normal life.